Mm. Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to make a start at the very least on my review of Bay's End by Edward Lorne from the author of The Sound of Broken Ribs. This is my third Edward Lorne book at this point. Uh, he used to be here on Booktube. He sort of still is under... Uh, Church of the Chair, I think his channel name is now. Uh, but from what I understand, he's not publishing books under his name anymore, which is a shame because his stuff's really good. Um, I will say, reading the blurb on this is almost impossible, but I will give it a go. When 12-year-old Trey and his best friend Eddie play a prank on Officer Mac, the resulting chain of events rocks the small town of Bay's End. Today, Trey Franklin is a man haunted by his past. Tormented by that one tragic, fateful summer, Trey searches for catharsis, the only way he knows how, by writing. A tale of love, loss, and the depths of human evil. Welcome to Bay's End. And it's very Stephen king -y. It reminds me of The Body or something like that. Um, it's got that coming-of-age thing going on. It even starts here with a quote from Stephen King. Monsters are real. Ghosts are real, too. They live inside us, and sometimes they win. So we'll check out some tabs here. Dane reads... So here we have, uh, starting with Eddie Tremont, and he's talking about uh, Bay's End. Uh, it's actually the main character, Trey, talking, but he says, People not from around here always think the name of my town is a typo. It's not. We don't have a bay. The nearest body of water is 100 miles away. However, we did have a Francis Bay. He founded the town and died here. Some say it was the town that killed him. This place, this wonderful, horrible place, truly was Bay's End. Which I just thought was cool. It gives the place some character, you know? Great little line here. Dog's memories were like baseball cards. Just a picture and some important need-to-know facts. We get another Stephen King reference. I had seen Salem's Lot. Only bad things tapped on your window while you slept. And the high school is called Backman High, which is uh, Stephen King's pseudonym is Richard Back. Uh, we get a reference to Mortal Kombat and also Sub-Zero, who was my favourite character from that. This helps to set the time and place because it's early 90s this is taking part. I think this is when uh, Lorne himself was like the age of the characters. We ended up at Chapman's laundromat that afternoon, pumping courses into the new Mortal Kombat box they'd installed in the back next to Cruising USA. The game was challenging and we played for three hours, swapping turns each time a new opponent handed us our asses. Goro, the final boss, came onto the screen, flexing all four of his arms, and we gawked at the screen as if it held the meaning of life. When he ripped Sanders' character, Sub-Zero, apart with a flawless victory, we all decided the game had stolen enough of our money for one day. And, um, yeah, Trey gets attacked by a dog, and I just thought this little bit was quite well written. Lurching forward, I managed to scream again. It wasn't really a cry for help so much as an involuntary outburst from my diaphragm. It exploded from my very soul. My thought process had ceased to exist. Many people live their entire lives not knowing what their basic survival instinct feels like. I learned just, I learned just nine days shy of 13. And uh, Candy goes to visit him in the hospital and she stays overnight, which I'm pretty sure maybe that's allowed in American hospitals, but in, in the UK they definitely wouldn't allow you to do that. You have like very prescribed visiting hours that you have to stick to. We get the line, uh, same shit, different day. Um, SSDD, which I believe is using it and maybe other Stephen King novels. And we get this great little exchange. What the hell have you been eating, I asked. Your mama. Last time you had some pussy, pussy had you, Candy rejoined. We get a mistake, uh, it's got uh, the front lawn of the Lance's property and the apostrophe is in the wrong place. Uh, we get a reference to Wayne's World playing at the Paramount, 50 Cent showing, which is very cool. Um, Wayne's World, well, Wayne's World 2 specifically, one of my favourite movies. I just sort of grew up with it. Uh, got a reference to an awards ceremony that, um, what's his name, Trey had attended with Sanders. The ceremony was for a writing contest in which Sanders had won first place and I'd received an honourable mention. Rather strangely, I ended up being the writer. I mean, I got a C, a GCSE English and didn't do it at college before going to do creative writing, so just goes to show. Um, we get a very trigger warning-y scene with a, a homemade abortion with a coat hanger. Um, brutally written, but well done. Uh, there's a reference to watching Comic Relief 92. I assume that's different to the Comic Relief we have in the UK, because I was pretty sure that was just a UK thing, like a charity special with British comedians and shit. Oh, and then um, they take down the cop, basically, and uh, Eddie shoots him in self-defense, but then at the end he puts two more rounds in the guy's forehead with a gun he'd taken, which technically would then make it murder. If the guy hadn't had survived his other wounds, that would have been murder because the threat was no longer there. But uh, Eddie doesn't make it much longer that, than that anyway. We have another final twist at the end, which was probably the best twist of the book. Didn't see that one coming, whereas a lot of the others I did. Um, and yeah, overall Bay's End by Edward Lorne. I'd give it a pretty strong 4 out of 5, maybe even a 4.5. Has a good shot of becoming one of my best books of uh, the quarter. We will see. And uh, very glad I read it. And now I can give this back to my girlfriend, Shay. So there we have it. That's what I made of Bay's End by Edward Lorne. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments what you thought of this book. If you read it, hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more. And I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.